Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Today is the first day of the Nativity Fast. Some say Advent. Some say the Fast of St. Philip, as we celebrated the Holy Apostle Philip's memory on Sunday. In any case, we begin this time of prayer and fasting and almsgiving in preparation for the coming of our Lord in his nativity, his incarnation, his indwelling among us. So thank you for joining us for this daily Vespers tonight. Please pray together with us. God cleanse me, sir, and have mercy upon me. God cleanse me, sir, and have mercy upon me. God cleanse me, sir, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Cleanse us from our sins, Master. Pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great, you are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the wind your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken, you covered it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, they get drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth, wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork as your home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, their rocks are refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness, and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom! You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things most small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you pour to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. 
May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of my Father, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, Lord, companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense to Christ your God for a sweet spiritual fragrance. Receive it upon your heavenly altar and send down upon us and return the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the fourth code, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense. And let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to an evil to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. 
Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you will, Lord, just mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. Emulate the Canaanite woman, my soul, cleave to Christ, crying ceaselessly, have mercy on me, O Master, the devil possesses my rebellious flesh, drive out my fever and call my frenzy, I beseech you, accomplish my mortification through fear of you, through the prayers of your most pure mother and all your saints, most merciful lover of man. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord, my soul has waited for your word, my soul has hoped on the Lord. You sent Jonah to preach to the sinful Ninevites, your divine wrath was changed to pity by their repentance. They were delivered from furious destruction. Also send your powerful help to me, O lover of man, that I may turn from my innumerable transgressions, that I may be led to the path of repentance, and my bitter tears find deliverance from my many sins. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. O Lord, who came into the world to save us from our sins, calling us to repentance in your compassion, have mercy on me, for I have offended you more than others. For the sake of your goodness, save me and lead me to repentance. Grant me thoughts of contrition and humility of heart. Give me the grace of single-heartedness and gentleness. For my hope is in your mercy, O lover of man. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The searcher of the hearts of men inspired your mind, O apostle, with his divine knowledge. He called you to himself, ransoming you from the world's deceit. For he is the light whose rays shine to the ends of the earth. He commanded you to proclaim his word. He made you worthy to write his holy gospel. Pray that he may enlighten and save our souls. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. Once a public and now a disciple, you accepted the urgent call of the eternal word. You abandoned the collection of the taxes, eager for the promise of communion in his kingdom. You cast away the raging tumult of life. Now you behold his glory face to face. Pray that he may enlighten and save our souls. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. In days of old, as the earth lay waste and evil, the prophet Daniel was endowed with clearness of sight. He beheld the stone cut without human hands from a mountain, a stone that ground the riches of earthly kingdoms to dust. In the fullness of time this all-wise Lord came down to earth. Passing by the customs house, he chose you to be his herald. He called you who once served an earthly kingdom to serve him the light of the world. Pray to him, O blessed Matthew, that he may enlighten and save our souls. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You were called by Christ to heavenly discipleship. You followed him eagerly, O chosen of God. He delivered you from subjection to earthly cares abandoning the vain collection of tribute. You faithfully kept the accounts of the heavenly King. O blessed evangelist, you are a light for those who dwell in darkness, a guide to salvation for those who wander astray. O Matthew, herald of glad tidings, pray for those who honor you. 
now and ever in the same tone, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Creator and Fashioner of man took flesh from your womb, O a blessed one, healing us who had fallen deceived by the serpent. You gave birth wondrously to God, the Word, O pure one. Your offspring set us free from corruption. For we had grown old in sin, therefore we bless you, O unwedded bride, the shelter of all who in faith glorify you. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening prokimonat is in the fourth tone. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. Answer me when I call to you, O my righteous God. Give me relief for my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. How long, O men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and see false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. In your anger do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you, O Lord, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy, that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, Grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life by through Christ our God, 
to you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord our God, who above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting that help from them, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the foretold, O oh, all praise, Matthew. O oh, all praise, Matthew. Your words are a trumpet drawing men to the knowledge of God. They have delivered the inhabitants of the earth from enslavement to evil, leading us into the true faith, the unity of righteousness. Pray to Christ our God to deliver us from corruption and danger. Their proclamation has gone out into all the earth and their words to the ends of the universe. By a fiery tongue you were armed mightily with the Spirit. O Apostle, your words overthrew the deceitful enemy. Christ our God, whom you proclaim to be the fulfillment of the prophets, adorned you with the resplendent crown of his love. Pray to him to deliver us from corruption and danger. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. The publican in a single moment became, becomes an apostle. The tax collector seizes riches from the fount of joy, abundantly blessed with the fullness of the Spirit. He made you to be bearer of glad tidings for us. Pray to Christ our God to deliver us from corruption and danger. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The full stature of goodness is made manifest in you, O blessed Matthew. In the fullness of time, you abandon the occupation of an evil age. Soaring as an eagle to the heights of righteousness, you filled the earth with wisdom hidden from all eternity. Following fervently in the footsteps of Christ, you have borne the gospel of peace, life, and salvation to men, filling with divine commandments those who hunger after righteousness. O blessed guide, well pleasing to the Creator, Pray for us who bless your memory. In the same tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine, who blossomed for us the fruit of life. Implore him, we pray you, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints, that he will have mercy on our souls. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. With zeal you follow Christ the Master, who in his goodness appeared to men on earth. He called you from the custom house, revealing you to be a chosen apostle, a trumpet proclaiming the gospel to the whole world. Therefore, O divinely eloquent Matthew, we honor your precious memory, asking you to entreat the merciful God that he may grant us remission of our sins. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, vanquisher of demons, dispeller of the powers of darkness. By your meekness you inherited the earth and now reign in the heavens. Intercede therefore with our merciful God that our souls may be saved. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, our power and refuge, the mighty help of the world, by your prayer shelter your servants from all calamity, for you alone are blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Deacon, low companions of the Diocese of New England, or priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, especially Salma, Walter, Susan, and Ludmilla, and who hear and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the mercy, light, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, all those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those suffering for their Orthodox faith, for those in need of healing, especially the priests, John, subdeacons, Paul and Nectari, Matishki, Sinti, Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, Virginia, Deborah, Alexandra, Nadia, and Genevieve, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Robert, Maria, Alexandra, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, Catherine, and Catherine, Elena, Alexander, and Lucia, Sandra, Nona, Judy, Infant, Sienna, and Mary, Infant, Philip, and Mary, Kathy, Dorothy, Jean, Patricia, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Andrew, Richard, and Paula, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and venerable house 
for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our and cry in repentance and contrition of heart, O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father bless. Christ our God, the existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, Unto ages of ages, most holy Theotokos save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father bless. May Christ our true God to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of our holy, glorious and laudable apostles, of the holy apostle and evangelist Matthew, and the new martyr Archimandrite Philomenos of Jacob's well, who we commemorate today. Of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. And we wish you a most blessed and fruitful journey of the Holy Advent season. Uh, it was also a joy to be at St. Nicholas Church for a retreat uh, over Friday and Saturday of this past week. And lastly, we'd like to just uh, uh, remember our servants of God, Matthew, who are celebrating their namesake today. We have Matthew in our parish and we have a nephew named Matthew. So uh, both of you are in our prayers as we celebrate the feast day of the Holy Apostle Matthew. And we'll sing the Troparian one more time. I don't have the icon in the center here, but... We do have the icon of Jesus washing the feet of the disciples, and Matthew, the evangelist, was one of the twelve, uh, being a tax collector and being called by our Lord uh, to seek uh, more. So we'll sing the Troparian one more time as we finish our Vespers tonight. May God bless and be with you, and we'll look forward to celebrating Vespers again tomorrow evening. With zeal you follow Christ the Master, who in his goodness appeared to men on earth. He called you from the custom house, revealing you to be a chosen apostle, a trumpet proclaiming the gospel to the whole world. Therefore, O divinely eloquent Matthew, we honor your precious memory, asking you to entreat the merciful God that he may grant us remission of our sins.